Hi guys. Uh, in this problem, we'll be discussing about tangent method for drawing a parallelogram. Uh, the question will be of two types, something like this. To draw a parabola using tangent method with 70 mm as base and 30 mm as length of the axis. So here what is given, the information is given regarding base and also given regarding the axis length. Or else, they will give you another way that is something like this. A fountain jet discharges water from the ground level at an inclination of 55 degrees. That means here angle is given to the ground. The jet travels a horizontal distance of 10 meters from the point of discharges and falls on the ground. Trace the path of the jet. This is also nothing but a, uh, this is a parabola. But information is given regarding base. Base is how much? 10 meters and also information given regarding the 55 degrees angle. So uh, both the questions I'll try to explain in this time, in this video. So first, if this is the AutoCAD screen, first question we'll discuss about the, um, this one, 70 mm and 30 mm. So 70 mm is a base and 30 mm is axis. We'll discuss this one. So first we'll take a line command and uh, we'll use your uh, uh, ortho button, ortho mode and we will draw the base this is nothing but how much it is uh, 70 mm so 70 mm should be drawn this is 70 70 mm is drawn once 70 mm is drawn we will draw escape we will finish it and then at the midpoint we will be having the axis so we will select a line here and the, this is the midpoint and from here the axis is how much this is 30 mm length so these two informations are already given to you in the question that is 70 mm uh, length and uh, base and 30 mm axis then you draw another 30 mm that is the length of the axis whatever is there extend the same length in the upward direction that is 30 mm again and press and then join that with the end points of base and also join the above one with the another end point of the base so basically what we have drawn is that uh, if, if i am using multi-text you'll understand it uh, i'll uh, denote them so that it will be easy for you Supposing I'm taking four, this is your A, this is your A, first extra data. So this is your A and this is your B. This is your A and this is your B. This is your B. So these two informations are already known to us. Then we have another one that is uh, length of the axis is also known. Therefore, if we write it here this is your axis length this is c let us suppose this is c and then the axis will be ending at a point called d which is 30 mm which is 30 mm above the this one right so this is your d point but we we have extended something with the d c d line is extended beyond it so so that c d is equal to c e so that c d is equal to c e so this is how you draw it after once this is finished, what you will do is that once this is finished, what you will do is that we will select this line and divide it into equal parts. Also, we will select this line and we will divide it into equal parts. So, before division, as usual, we will try to change the P type that is uh, point style will be changed. We will use the point style and we will change the point style and select the uh, division command div enter and select this line and divide it into some six equal parts. I am divided into six equal parts. It is not necessary the way we should uh, divide it into six equal parts. We can divide it beyond that also, depending upon your requirement. Same number of parts, this side also it should be divided. So div enter, select this line. Since I have selected six there, here also I am selecting six. Then give the numbering for it. Give the numbering for it. I am giving the numbering as this is one. Similarly, if this is one, this should be one. And uh, this is 2 this is 2 therefore this becomes 2 uh, 1 means 1 dash but uh, you can keep it and uh, 2 means 2 dash you can keep it so this is a 2 therefore this becomes 2 dash and this becomes 1 dash this becomes 1 dash similarly you keep it for 3 4 5 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash now use line command and uh, use line command and join one with one dash escape and again use line command join two with two dash escape and use line command join three with three dash escape 
again use line command 4 with 4 dash and escape and again use line command and use 5 with 5 dash escape you can clearly see that the parabola is already shape is already visible to us now what you will do is that the first line whatever the tangents are there whatever the lines are drawn these are all the tangents of the curve so whatever the points are there obtained for this you select those points by using vivo enter and this is your base point so this should be selected definitely and this is your second base point and uh, uh, this is your third base point and this is your fourth base point and this is your fifth point so all these five points that is one dash two dash uh, sorry one one dash and two two dash line intersection is taken and two two dash and three three dash line intersection is taken that is nothing but this one and three three dash and four five dash intersection is taken that is this one. and five five dash and automatically this is the part so these are all points are selected and now we will select a polyline and we will select all these points which are selected now uh, along with the D point that is nothing but the intersection point and we will draw a curve. Then use select this line, uh, select this uh, curve which is drawn by using poly line and use PE enter and use the fit to fit the curve. Once this is fit, select this curve. We can use some separate color like this and we can give some uh, uh, line way to it and uh, for it to be display line with display will be on so that uh, the curve is finished so this is how you draw the uh, question you draw the parabola if the question is given to you like the this one you have to draw a parabola if the information is given as 70 and 30 so two lengths are given that is axis length and base length is given. supposingly the same question if it is given in this way in this way that is angle and uh, uh, base if angle and base is given in that case, what we will do? I will try to draw it in a new sheet. Here, the question is in meters. So, I can change the units to meters. Units, I can change it to meters and I can draw it. So, I will uh, change it to meters. And the information is given that it is uh, having uh, uh, 10 meters base. So, this is 10. So, I will select 10 meters. Once 10 mm line is drawn, then I will draw another line on this same thing. Another line I will draw like this. And I'll draw another line from this. So totally I have drawn three lines here. Select one line and use rotate command. With this as base point, rotate it with how much angle is given in the question. The question is given as 55 degrees. So 55 degrees means I'll go I'll rotate it with 55 degrees. So this is the first. Because it is an anti-clockwise direction, directly I have pressed 50. Enough. Now again use rotate command. Select the second line which is drawn there and then press enter and this is uh, this point is selected now instead of 55 i have to press minus 55 because it is in clockwise rotation clockwise rotation so therefore it should be rotated after that you use trim command without the unnecessary things are there those are removed and if you observe carefully if you want to you can check it in the annotations i'll go to the angular dimensions and i'll check the dimensions if i are perfectly correct or not yes exactly 55 perfectly updated so the, i'm drawing correctly so after this, what you will do as usual, select uh, P type. First P type you select it. That is point type or point step will be selected and press OK. Then select this line or before that you have to press division, enter and select this line and divide it into some uh, six equal parts like in the previous case. And here also select division, enter, select this line into six equal parts. This helps. Again, name them as one, one dash, two, two dash, three, three dash or or else I'll do one thing. I'll select these two and give a single color so that it will be easily understood to you. This point and this point. Uh, the second point here and second point here I'll give separate color. That is some red color I'm giving. And third point and third point I'll give separate color. That is some blue color I'm giving it. So and uh, fourth point and fourth point I'm giving separate color. Some pink I have given. And fifth point and fifth point. It is something like some 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 other color. Now join the combination colors. Okay, you don't do uh, these two have come the same, so I'll change it to some other color, yeah, green color. Now join this yellow yellow line. That is line by using this two, and join red color red color points. Again join blue blue points, and again pink and pink. Again green and green. What are the points are there? After that, select the intersection points and draw the curve. 
since the information is not there regarding the access end point in this case we will take the these two points also into consideration therefore we will select the point when we will select this point of intersections like this and intersection points are all selected and press and finish the curve we will select the curve whatever it's finished use PE enter then use fit command therefore the curve is fit perfectly and use the select the curve give select the curve and uh, give some separate color to it i have given light blue color cyan color and uh, i am giving some line weight as 53 or something 0 0.5 and this is how we finish in this case we know information regarding annotation should be given uh, linear dimension is known that is from here to here this is 10 mm is known to us as well as we know the information regarding angular information that is this line this line and this line information is given. This is 155 degrees. So these two are information should be uh, shown in this diagram. As well as we'll also write, uh, write the information, right? So that is something like we'll press MT enter. We'll, we can keep it here with some three or four size. So I'll press something like uh, uh, one size and keep it because only 10 meters. So therefore I'm keeping one size. And uh, the question, whatever is there, I'll copy it and I'll paste it here so that uh, the information is perfectly given in this also. Then press close text editor, therefore it is closed. After this, I'm using zoom extends and I'm selecting this and I'm dragging the arrow mark like this so that the question is coming perfectly with sync with the problem. So zoom extends. It is. It has come very big so I can uh, reduce the sizes also. Uh, depending upon my requirement, I can even select all this. Select all this and uh, change the size to instead of uh, 0 0.983, I'll press 0 0.5. It has been changed now. So I can uh, keep it down. And you can see that the point size are also very big. So I'll select uh, P, T, Y, P, that is point type. And uh, instead of 5, I'll keep some and press enter so everything is in line so dimensioning is given perfectly and uh, information is given the diagram is also finished and we have given line weight also in this way the second problem for the tangent also can be seen so the tangent question will be of two types one is they'll give you base and they'll give you axis or else they'll give you base and they'll give you some internal angle correct so anyway the process is same but whereas uh, uh, from from the division the point uh, process is same but before division in the first case axis should be doubled and then the points to be joined with the base point and points and uh, the upper obtained point that is e point but in this case we will directly use the 55 degrees line whatever the internal angle is given we will draw from the both the sides because parabola uh, angle is given to it so so supposingly somebody is throwing here here if you see the fountain jet is discharged uh, water so something like a pipe is being pumping water outside with an angle of 55 degrees that is what is given so this is how you construct a parabola by using tangent method this is the two uh, two different types of methods which are available so i guess you have understood this enjoy bye